So, um, as I said, my name is Andy Schwarm, and I'm the Chief Performance Officer for the county. Uh, when President Parkerville uh, took office about four and a half years ago, uh, we inherited a government that didn't have a lot of strategic direction from the President's <laughs> office. And so, uh, one of the first things that we did is we passed a performance management ordinance. And um, a performance management ordinance simply uh, requires every office and agency to set goals and to collect data. Uh, and we, the small performance management team, work with these agencies to uh, improve their performance, identify performance deficits, and really to institute fact-based management. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar, uh, the government in Illinois, uh, there are many layers of government. And I'm sure you know some of the services you receive, but often a lot of citizens I talk to don't quite know exactly uh, which governments provide what, what services. So, uh, a simple explanation is the city of Chicago, or whatever municipality you live in, provides the traditional town hall services that you think of a city providing. Uh, the county of Cook and the other counties in Illinois provide services in several main categories. Uh, our largest budget area is we have a large health and hospital <coughs> system. And we have a representative from the health system today, so if you have any questions about their data. But uh, we are a health care provider um, across two hospitals. Uh, a detention uh, uh, care facility and a large series of clinics, as well as now uh, County Care, which is a managed care network. Uh, we are a direct service provider, uh, as well as having a managed care insurance plan uh, for the residents of Cook County. Uh, we also have a large public safety system, uh, and the sheriff, we have a representative from the sheriff's office here tonight with us, but the uh, elected officials in the public safety system um, are largely your courts um, and those that are involved court officers. So from, from the time of arrest uh, to uh, entry into the criminal justice system, and whether you're detained uh, pretrial or you're in some sort of pretrial monitoring to the, the finishing of your case. So if you're the public defender's office, the state's attorney's office, the clerk of the circuit court, and the sheriff. Uh, the sheriff also has a police force uh, that they Police the unincorporated areas and the Forest Preserve District also has a police force, so we do have some policing functions as well. Uh, we also are responsible for all the, the property records for the county. So uh, from the, the moment that your property uh, real estate is assessed uh, to your appeals process with the Board of Review, uh, to the county clerk's office, which uh, sets the tax equalizer amongst the other duties, including elections and vital records. Uh, to the treasurer who mails the tax bills and, and collects the, the property taxes. Uh, we also have a recorder of deeds who uh, manages uh, uh, the, the real estate transfers uh, in the county. Uh, we also uh, do economic development. Uh, we have a lot of exciting things that we're doing in economic development. The county is becoming more of a regional leader. Uh, we've been working with the uh, six other counties in the city of Chicago uh, on collaborative initiatives to uh, build a manufacturing cluster in metals to uh, reform truck permitting, uh, as well as other uh, housing and economic development related activities. Um, the county is structured differently than a lot of other governments that you see. So uh, in the city of Chicago, um, uh, with the exception of the treasurer and the city clerk, uh, the chief of police, uh, the department heads, all report to one elected official, who is the mayor of Chicago. Uh, in Cook County, it works slightly differently, and you've heard me re reference other elected officials. Uh, we have several, or excuse me, we have 11 separately elected offices in the county. They are all responsible for their administrative functions. Uh, the president of the county and the county board is responsible for uh, presenting and passing a balanced budget that governs that entire body. So uh, the sheriff's office, for, for example, or the health system are responsible uh, for their operations, but the county board president's office uh, is responsible for the finances and some of the other countywide administrative functions. Uh, IT is an area where we have some broad responsibilities as well as we collaborate with the individual IT shops from the separate, separately elected offices. Uh, all told, we have a $3 billion operating budget. Um, our total budget is around $4 billion, including special purpose funds and capital, uh, which and for the five and a half million residents in the, in the county, it makes us one of the largest governments uh, in the country. We would be, I believe, the 19th largest state. So we're a pretty big government for a county. 
Um, the president has set uh, goals in each of these areas. So I, I mentioned that my primary responsibility is I work with each office and agency to set goals. Uh, we've set a lot of goals. Uh, we've been working to reduce the jail population. Uh, we've been improving our health system as it moves more towards managed care. Uh, we've been building partnerships. And uh, all in all, my effort is to do that in a way uh, that is more fact-based and where we're using data and we're using uh, information, administrative data sets, as well as uh, other, other data that we, we get from, from other agencies like the state or from the city of Chicago to more effectively manage our operations. So my, my, main, my main role is to work with each office to effectively manage our operations so we deliver high quality services to the residents. I also provide another role, which is uh, because every office and agency is reporting data to us, Every quarter, we, we report uh, on our website, performance.cookcountyil.gov, um, administrative data about how your government's performing. And so uh, I really, I, I know a lot of you in this room, and I've worked with a number of you on different projects. Uh, I want to be a resource as you think about what data exists for the county. And if you have any ideas, I'm more excited to hear about what your ideas are on how the county can improve its services, what data is interesting to you, what problems are interesting to you, uh, so that we can work together to improve, improve government. So with that, I'll turn it over to Derek. Thank you, Andy. So Derek Thomas, Director of Applications with the Bureau of Technology, and I'll talk a little bit about where the data lives in terms of the platforms uh, within the county. And uh, I know when Andy uh, started uh, with performance management, you know, it's kind of tough because we have a lot of legacy data, and it resides on the AS400, the I-series, and the mainframe, the Z-series. Uh, but we have taken many, many strides, and we're looking to do a lot of exciting things, which I'll talk a little bit about. So 